everyone! I'm back today with a full video about my friends, Aries. So, Aries, my dear Ram friend. Aries is a cardinal sign. It's the very first sign of the zodiac. It's masculine, it, it's a fire sign. And that says a lot of things already. So, Aries, cardinal, fire, masculine. Let's start with the cardinal bit. Aries is the very first sign of the zodiac. They are the innate leaders of the zodiac. So at one point in their lives, at one point or another, an Aries will most probably be the ruler of something, anything, a business. They're great entrepreneurs, their family. They are a bit of a, a little dictator in their family so if you've got um someone a member of your family which is an aries do your best not to contradict them because they want to have things their way so moving forward fire they are a fire sign that means they have an enormous reserve of energy they are very optimistic they don't let themselves bog down by obstacles, by tests, by challenges. They move forward. They move forward all the time. Uh, they don't seem to get tired ever, <laughs> which for uh, instance, for someone who is an earth sign like Taurus or maybe even a Virgo, Aries seems like a curiosity of nature. They're like, don't you ever need some sleep? Well, apparently they don't need nowhere near as much as anyone else. So Aries are very, very hardworking people. They strive, they toil away, and especially when it's for a cause that they believe in and when they want to do something of their own. As I've said before, they are great entrepreneurs. So if you're an Aries or you've got an Aries rising sign, it would be my advice to start your own business, basically. It's as simple as that. Or to lead your own pack. So you are uh, natural born leaders and people tend to follow you naturally wherever you go. Aries gets bored quite quickly. They don't really have an eye for details because it's not their job. <laughs> Virgo has the best eye for details ever. Gemini, they're very good at organizing things. But Aries' uh, role is to initiate, to act, to move forward, to find a new challenge. They look at the bigger picture. They don't let themselves uh, discouraged by details, by drawbacks. They're impulsive. <laughs> They're the most impulsive sign of the zodiac. They act first, they think later, which might be good for them, and sometimes it might be bad. But it's the same with all of us. They don't overthink things. Although, although generally, uh, um, when it comes to um, one's uh, physical aspects, Aries rules the head. So Aries is the thinker which says, this is how we're gonna do things, follow me. And everyone else follows the leader basically. But it's not their job to think of everything so they find a way but then the rest of the pack has to take care of the small bits and bobs and put all the pieces of the puzzle together they get bored easily and that's why they are always on the lookout for a new challenge where when they don't find an obstacle in their way they have uh, this propensity for creating one because they're ruled by mars Mars is the planet of, oh, well, in mythology, Mars was the god of war. And Mars is a planet of action. So they have this competitive streak to them. If there's any sort of competitiveness involved, they will go for that uh, particular task. They want to be first. They want to lead. They want to be the best in everything they do. And no wonder you... Aries friends are in a great uh, company so very famous Aries are for instance Victoria Beckham, uh, Larry Page from Google, um, Thomas Jefferson who wrote the, uh, the American Declar Declaration of Independence, he was also an Aries, Gloria Steinman, so Hugh Hefner, 
<laughs> you are in great company, my friends. I would also like to tell you a little bit more about Mars. Mars, as I've said, is um, the, the planet of war, is the planet of impulses, of sexual desires, it's the planet of action, it's the planet of survival. If we don't act, if we don't move, if we don't strive, if we don't work, we will not survive. Mars gives, that, give us, gives us that impulse to always act, act, act all the time. Whatever stands still is going to die. So Mars pushes us in different directions. In a woman's birth chart, uh, Mars also shows the type of male partner that she's looking for. I'm talking to you again about birth charts, so it would be really good if you could go online and look for a software. I'm also gonna link um, in, in the description to uh, a certain uh, software guide that you can use to calculate your birth chart and see where your Mars is on your chart. And that will give, give you a bit of an insight into what type of partner you're looking for. Not necessarily on a conscious level, but on a subconscious level. Um, some more about Mars. Whenever there's an accident taking place, there's usually um, this Martian energy involved because Mars is the impulse. So be careful if you've got your Mars not that good, that, not that well aspected in your chart. Always be careful when handling tools, when you cross the street. Uh, take extra caution because Mars, it can be anything but he's not cautious, that's for sure. So don't push it, although Mars will push it. Mars also rules violence and our aggressive streaks. So wherever Mars is placed in one's chart, I'll give myself as an example. I've got Mars placed in Gemini. Gemini rules communications. It rules messages. And I tend to be a bit maybe aggressive sometimes in my speech and I might hurt people without even realizing it. I like to say, it's not me, it's Mars. But yes, that's, that's the plain truth. And if you've got that, you need to control it. So see where your Mars is placed. If you find out where it is, please ask me in one of your comments and I will reply to you and tell you a bit more. So if you can tell me what sign it is placed in and what house, I can give you a bit of an insight about what this means. I'm gonna tell you a bit more about the Aries leader because at one point or another in this life, uh, you may or may not be an Aries, but you might encounter an Aries boss in your life. So how to deal with an Aries boss? Basically, do not waste their time. Aries are always on the run, always on the move. They don't have time to waste. Cut to the chase, get down to business, say what you've got to say, don't fiddle around, don't stutter, and yeah, an Aries boss will enjoy doing business with you. If you can't be that type of person, don't take the Aries impulse personally because he will tell you in your face what's wrong with you. Aries is very straightforward. <laughs> Aries, as uh, they're ruled by Mars, they tend to be a bit aggressive without, um, without them even realizing it. So as I've said, don't take it personally because it's not about you. It's just the way they handle the world. Aries is all about me first, me first. I am the best, I'm the first one. Do not try to look better than an Aries if an Aries is your boss. And I'm, I'm not saying that in terms of physical aspect, I'm saying don't try to um, take their face, basically, because they will hold a grudge and they will t uh, get back at you. <laughs> if you guys have got an Aries partner or if you yourself are an Aries and you're looking for love or you found it already, I want to tell you a bit about Aries in a relationship. So technically, the best partner for marriage, uh, the complementary uh, partner for an Aries is a Libra because um, Aries tends to be competitive. Aries thinks about himself first and then about others. 
a Libra will counteract uh, this uh, trait of an Aries. Libra is all about diplomacy, about maintaining a good relationship with any uh, with everyone, about making everyone happy. A Libra will teach an Aries a lot about thinking about others as well, about empathy. Empathy is a challenge for Aries. They find it very, very hard to think about other people's needs. They always think, put themselves first, whether they acknowledge it or not. That's just the way it is. So Libra would be the best partner for marriage and also for doing business together because they bring different um, features to the table, different types of skills. Aries is active, Libra is more passive, Aries is fire, Libra is air, so Libra is uh, roaming in the realm of ideas, Li the Libra is very intellectual, Aries, as I've said, acts first, thinks later, oh my god, what did I do? So a Libra can counteract a lot of these Aries features and they both kind of communicate and live well together. So although there might be some struggles for power in their relationship, um, a Libra will show an Aries that it's not about who is in control, it's about working together. So teamwork makes the dream work. And my dear Aries friends, since it's almost eclipse season, there's an eclipse coming right up, uh, actually two eclipses coming right up this month, one on the 8th and the 9th of March, and one on the 22nd and the 23rd of March. The first eclipse will be in Pisces. The uh, Pisces rules your 12th house, which is the house of your subconscious, of your dreams, of your previous lives, and this eclipse will probably unravel a secret, something that has happened behind, has been happening for quite a while behind closed doors. You had no idea about it, but this will affect your life for the next six months. The second eclipse um, at the end of March on the 22nd and the 23rd is in Libra, your complementary and opposite sign. What this means is you will hear news um, or something related to your partner or your business partner, not just your life partner, your husband, your boyfriend, uh, your girlfriend. Um, something will happen with your relationship. You will either move to a next level or I don't want to say break up, but that's also possible. So if you've been going through a bit of a bumpy ride lately, you will find this uh, particular month most appropriate for a new beginning and also an end to what has been before. Again, this eclipse is uh, a bit more friendlier than the first one, so what I can see is that whatever ending this might bring, there's a, a very beautiful beginning right around the corner, so don't, don't fight whatever this e eclipse brings about because it's not worth it, so the universe is trying to tell you something and you've just got to listen to it. That's all for today, my Aries friends. As I've said, let me know if you've got any questions, if you can calculate your birth chart. I'm going to put a link in the description so that you can go there and find where the planets are situated on you, where the, where they were situated in the sky when you were born, what your rising sign is, and you can just take it from there. Hope you had fun, and I'll see you next week.